How to use the elevation box when you're drawing duct in the vertical. When you go to draw a riser, using the elevation box works a little bit differently than it would when you're drawing duct horizontal to the drawing. For example, notice we're going to pick a piece of rectangular duct out of a fitting bin. We've got the screen and isometric to make it easier to see. We're going to come over to the elevation box and you can see we've got the top, center, and bottom of the object we're holding. So we're going to say that we want the bottom of this duct to be at zero. Let's say it's coming through the slab on the floor. So now we're going to place it on the drawing. We're going to click on the drawing once and hit F spacebar to rotate it. Okay, we're just going to rotate it so it's pointing upward. And then we're going to place it on the drawing. Now, if we click on this duct and go to the elevation box, you can see that Practicat is no longer showing three values. And the reason why is the duct is actually on the vertical. When you've got duct going up and down on the drawing, Practicat only reads one value, and that value is the elevation of the node that the fitting box says we're holding. So let's hold this open for a minute. Notice right here that we've got the in node, and it's at 9 inches. What happened was we rotated the duct up, so now the bottom is no longer at 0. So if we want the bottom of this duct to be at 0, now we actually change it. And now the duct's bottom is at 0 foot 0 inches. And you can see by the square blue node, we're holding the in joint. If you would like to use the out joint to place duct, you can switch it to out 1. Notice when we do that, Practicat changes the node. Okay, the, the node we're holding is now the blue square here, the out joint. And you can see that that is at 4 foot 8 inches. So if I wanted that node to be at, let's say, 2 foot, we could type in 24 or 2 foot, and now the out node would be there. So when it's in the vertical, we can only place it down by in or out. So once again, we're going to switch it to the in, and we're going to say this one value here, we want to make that 0 feet. And that means that this duct now is coming off the floor, 0 bottom. That will conclude the tutorial on working in the elevation box for vertical duct.